So today I'm going to do a do-it-yourself Avid spray with some essential oils and some garlic and onions. So last fall I transplanted some pepper plants into pots and brought them inside and tried to uh, grow them so I could put them back in the spring so I'd have a head start on some peppers. But that didn't work out too well because when I started my other seeds, aphids jumped from that pot and peppers onto all my other seedlings so they jumped onto my kale, my cabbages and a few other things so I killed a lot of stuff and had to replenish it. So I researched what I needed to do and the first uh, thing that I came across was using essential oils uh, since I use them quite a bit in my household. Uh, that's the first thing I went to and it seemed to work quite well. It fought back most of the big population and I would spray in the morning and in the night it seemed to help well. So the two oils I used was peppermint I'm not sure if you guys can see from back there. And rosemary. Apparently they don't like the smell of it. Um, I'm using Young Living oils, so if you guys are interested in using anything, uh, oils and changing your lifestyle to uh, have better, safer products in your home, I'll leave a link to uh, their Young Living page and my roller number so you guys can order some oils and they've got tons of other things like hair care, body care, supplements, tons of cool stuff. So you guys can check that out. And I was talking to a woman the other day at the farmer's market that uh, sells a lot of tomatoes and she said that she uses garlic and onion as well. So I'm going to do a combination of the four to really kill aphids as I've got some coming back my pepper plants in my greenhouse that I started this year. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to blend up the garlic and the onion first in my Vitamix. Uh, so I'll put, I'll put a few cups of water in. So I'll just put like two cups there and because this is things are super powerful I'm just leaving the, see, uh, the wrapper on. So I'm going to just start, start on the variable speed on low first and work my way up. Okay. Well, that's nice and garlicky. So I'm going to strain this into another bowl quickly, which I forgot to get a strainer, so I'll grab that right now. Okay, so now we just strain it all out. And then now I'm going to pop it into my container here. Make sure you get more in the container than on your counter. So the other things you need too are just soap. So you put uh, just a little squeeze in, a few drops, and then your peppermint essential oil, I do about 10 drops. And then your rosemary essential oil as well. Probably just about 10 drops. I'm just guessing for the amount that I have here. As long as you have some to prevent the aphids from coming around, the smell of it tears them. And then as well, some olive oil just to bind everything together. So you pop this back on. Give it a good shake. And then I'll finish the video off tomorrow when I go out as I've got some aphids in my greenhouse on my peppers again. So we'll see how this works. Okay, so here I am in the greenhouse here. Move this string out of the way here. And I've got my aphid spray here. I'm just gonna give a quick shake to make sure everything's mixed up nicely. And here's the culprits with the aphids. So I'm just gonna give it a good spray. I'm gonna spray it here on the all the pepper plants, I think, because they're all covered, looks like it. And then worst case scenario, I'll just take them outside so that whatever predators, like the ladybug and whatnot, can get them if this doesn't work. But, well, there's a lot on this one here. I'm not sure if you can see them. Sorry for the terrible camera job here. You can see them all in here. So many of them. So I'm going to give this one a good spray here. On undersides as well, you know, those guys. I can smell, really smell like garlic. I'm gonna get more over here. Oh, these guys have got some uh, peppers forming already. Perfect. This guy there as well. Where else? We get some more here. Spraying all the sides of them. Here's another big one. He doesn't have many on, but well, sorry guys, I'm 
hard to spray and hold the camera at the same time. There we go. Just get them all here. So what we'll do, we'll uh, check back in a day and see how that does. Do these ones for my uncle as well. There's more here. And I think that's it. I always do the tomato plants a quick little spray too, since aphids do get onto the tomato plants once in a while. Better be safe than sorry. There we go. So there we go guys, a quick little aphid spray for you if you guys have a problem. Hopefully I'll check back tomorrow and see how they're doing and let you guys know how it works. About a day later, so I'm going to check on the aphids quickly here. I can tell that there's some still. Um, so I missed coming out yesterday because I wasn't around. But I think the idea is you need to spray it every day for it to work really well. And I may not have made the concentration quite strong enough with the garlic, onions and sedge oil. So you can guys can adjust that. So here we go. So I'm just going to keep spraying them for the next few days and see what happens. And then hopefully that's going to uh, get rid of all aphids. So there you go guys, I hope you found that video helpful. If you guys try it out, please let me know how it works out for you guys. So uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, uh, give me a thumbs up, and happy gardening. We'll see you guys soon.